So I'm Manny Fernandez from Silicon Valley. I'm so excited to be here in Finland. This is an exciting conference that you guys have. Uh, I'm an angel investor and serial entrepreneur, founder of SF Angels Group, a 32-member group. I didn't get there by myself, though. I mean, I did have a mentor who was an early member, and he was an early investor in Google and PayPal, so he taught me a lot. And, but through that experience, I was able to learn a lot about crowdfunding, and I was going to try to figure out how many people here are looking to raise money now or maybe in the future. Can you raise your hand? Put them up. I'm a, come on, run around right over there. Good. All right, terrific. So what I'm going to do is talk about the secrets of raising millions of dollars. I'm bringing this knowledge from Silicon Valley, but I want to not only have it trapped here, I want you to kind of get it out to others. And so take out your phone and tweet some of the clues I'm going to talk about in the stories that help you raise money without having to deal with the angels or venture capitalists. Is that fair? So there was once was a startup in a small town very similar to Helsinki where they weren't connected to any investor. And, but the founder, he kind of got a notepad and paper and he started writing two to three minute video about what he was offering. And he thought about what's in it for me. You know, what's in it for me is everyone's favorite radio station, W-I-I-F-M. And when people hear what's in it for them, it's like music to their ears. But when you start talking about things in it for you, it's like static. So he wanted to create a great video where it inspired people when what's in it for them. And then he grabbed all his email addresses from wherever he had them, from school, and, and got them all together, and made sure his profile on Facebook was great, his Twitter account, his LinkedIn. Therefore, he created his own broadcasting system. And then he reached out to friends and family and told them he was going to do this campaign on Kickstarter, and they wanted to make sure that he had lined up people in advance that would fund him. But he didn't launch it yet. In that process, he ran into a few people that did not have any money. Anyone run into people say they can't back you because they don't have any money? This is what you do with them. So he said, well, can you at least share my profile or help promote it when I launch it? And they agreed. So he had a list of people that would back him financially as well as back him with social proof, if you will. And then he launched his campaign. But he didn't sit back and wait. He worked hard promoting it via social media, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, emails, and it was the end of 30 days, what was really amazing. It was one of the top 25 campaigns of all time. But that's not the end of the story. There was a big VC firm. There's a gentleman named Tim Draper, who was an early investor in Skype, Tesla Hotmail, reached out to him. They kind of made an agreement. And then us as Dream Funder heard about it. And at the end of this round, he raised over $2 million dollars. And this all started based on him being on Kickstarter in a little town, but he raised $2 million in equity. The moral of the story is that you can do it too. It didn't cost him any money to create a video. His emails didn't cost him any money. Knowing his family and friends didn't cost him any money. And he worked hard behind it. So these are things that could be used to raise lots of money. Now on the equity side, um, it's a little different. If you're going to go directly to raise money for your investment, I'm going to teach you some techniques that are used at our office as well as other crowdfunding platforms. Now, I did learn a few things investing in a few equity crowdfunding platforms. I'm going to talk about one of the winners. So here's an example of one of the winners, Realty Shares. They are, uh, I was a first investor and advisor, and they're one of the leading real estate crowdfunding sites today. The reason I bring that up is because I'm going to show you some techniques on how you, 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 yeah, even you, could raise money no matter where you're at in the world. How you can raise money from Silicon Valley even right here. Anyone want to, want to hear about that? I need some cheers before I continue, though. All right. So this is how it works. Most people don't know how to find angels. I like Angels List. Go to angel.co and use it as a research tool. But then again, how are you going to contact them, people say? Well, you go on LinkedIn, and you can find them there. But if you're not connected to them, how are you going to reach out to them, people ask. Well, you, you buy this thing called InMills. For $100, you can get 10 messages, and you message them something. Well, what do you message them? 
well, you do something short and sweet. It's like, hey, I'm an entrepreneur working on X, Y, and Z widget. And if you're interested in talking to me, let's have a discussion. But in that email, I want you to put a link. And that link is, is a schedule once is a system we use. Well, you'll have a specific link where they can set up a time that works for them. Then you confirm that time, and then magic happens. Is that when you can then talk to them via GoToMeeting no matter where they're at in the world. We do this out of our San Francisco office. We have 4,400 accredited investors that are global. And I don't leave the office. In fact, I remember when I was younger, I would get a call from an investor that wanted to meet with me. Maybe one of you guys had the same situation. You get so excited, you drive to meet him for coffee, and you prepare, and there's a short meeting. Then you got to run on the other side of town and do the same thing. Take control of the investors and have them do this system. Therefore, you can leverage your time more and therefore use the internet to your advantage. Does that make sense so far? But then when they call you and they talk to you, what are you going to say to them? I think most entrepreneurs, I hear thousands of pitches, they talk about everything else but what an investor is looking for. And they don't have a planned presentation that's systematic every single time that talks exactly what the investors are looking for. Now we have a little time left. Would you like to see how a professional presents? I got to get everyone's commitment. Would you like to see how a professional presents? Yeah, how about over this side? All right, I'm going to show you some secrets. Use the Silicon Valley and how to present. You can use this here in Finland. I don't care where they're at in the world. As long as they're human beings, more likely than not, this will work. Is that fair? So it starts like this, the story. The story. It's all about the emotional story. So myself, as an angel investor, founder of the group, I'm privileged and honored to be an invited guest, panelist, speaker in Silicon Valley. And I've seen thousands of startups and many startups that are promising that were wanting to get funded. But the most amazing thing is I had a lot of investors coming up to us and they say, you know, we want to co-invest with you. I said, oh, great. Maybe we can come to our meetings. Well, sorry, sir. I live in London. I live in Singapore. I live in Texas. So I started to realize that many people wanted to be invested with us, but they weren't living there. So I saved their business card. And I had a stack of startup business cards that were looking for funding, but they weren't quite right for the, uh, our group. Then one day, it was probably around November, December of last year, I started thinking back. I thought back when my early 20s, my first dream was to create a startup. My second dream was to get funded. So it hit me. I should create a system to help investors get connected with startups. So that's where DreamFunded came about. So as a leader, you have to attract followers and, or people that are supporters of your vision. So an investors always want to know about the team. So the second slide is a team, ladies and gentlemen. And you just talk about the team briefly because they're investing primarily in the team. Myself, Manny Fernandez, has been a successful entrepreneur. Then Jacob White, a recent Harvard graduate that helps us with legal compliance. Rexford Hibbs helps us with accounting and a former Googler. Then you go into more detail, kind of show them your traction, show them your network. So like we've been fortunate that we co-invested with, say, top-tier VC firms, Melo Ventures, who's an early investor in Uber, you know, Tim Draper uh, or Reid Hoffman, a co-founder of LinkedIn and PayPal. Anyone know these names, by the way? Pretty well-known names, isn't that right? Or early Twitter investor. And then what you do is you move forward and try to show them your traction. Here's some of our portfolios, not all of them. At, at this time, when we were six months in business, we had eight portfolio companies, which were challenging to get into, and we had 3,500 accredited investors. In fact, we're proud to say we're one of the four companies in the history of crowdfunding that actually has an exit. So people are actually doing well on these platforms. Our business model, because investors want to understand how are you going to make money? Most startups leave that out. Don't do that. Well, we make a small percentage up front and carried interest. Most people don't know what carried interest is. So you got to slow it down. So if you're in a real technical field, slow it down. Try to explain it to them as they're like eight years old. It'll, and they'll speed you up. They'll be like, yes, I understand it. You know, the venture capitalists or the VCs in the room is like, yes, I get what carried interest is. But the normal person probably would not. What that is is basically a performance-based fee. If a company is acquired, the investors get their money back plus 85%. 15% is kept for dream funded. Does that make sense? Say yes. So our funding process is essentially we create a specific fund for the startup. And then we allow others to co-invest in that fund. So therefore, there's not 100 startups on a cap table, 200. It's only kept in that, that fund. We represent the, the company. And we invest in that specific company. 
Our legal structure is pretty simple. People think it's too complex. It's simple. We have a portfolio of companies, and we have this one little legal structure. And, and the inside of Dream Funded, so you show them the product, ladies and gentlemen. The inside of Dream Funded, it looks kind of like this. And then you go on to a little bit more detail on the investor, because the investors care about one thing. What do you think the investors care about? I need your help. What? Money. How much money? A little bit or a lot? Yeah. A lot. Anyone else agree about that? Yeah. All right. So you got to tell them what's in it for them. You got to talk what's in it for them. See, our model is that when a company starts to exit, then there's a thing called carried interest, which is 15% of the profits will be split among investors and our team. And not only that, a potential acquisition. Someone can buy you. Startups out there, think about an acquisition strategy. If you think you're going to own your business forever, they don't probably want to invest. You got to show them a way they can get out and then show them a potential acquisition target so they can see you thought through A to Z. Help them through the mission that you're trying to accomplish. Don't let them try to think, you know, like they're going to guess for you. You got to take them through that. Imagine it being a movie, the beginning, middle, and the end. Does that make sense? Yes, good. And then you, what you want to do is talk about the ending. The ending of your presentation is the following. You know, we're raising a million dollar round. We got $950,000 already committed. We have about 50K left. Contact me if you're interested. But it wasn't about a pitch. That is the system that you should think about doing. Notice how quick that was. Does that right? make sense? You cover the story. You cover the team. You cover how you make money. You show how an investor can make money and a potential exit and basically what you want the investor to do. And sometimes in the presentation is the close. So you don't have to push, push them. It's either right for them or not. And sometimes pre-screening your investor is important. If you're doing mechanical engineering type serv services and this investor only cares about, say, real estate, don't talk to them because they're more likely than not will not be investors in your startup. Think about through equity crowdfunding in advance, target people who would care about what you're doing. Target people who would care. Now, I'm very close to the end of my talk, but I want to say this is not about a moment on the stage. It's about a movement. It's about a movement of helping more promising companies just like you get funded. Everyone with me on that? But I need your help. I need your help to tell your friends about Dream Funded. I need you to email people about Dream Funded, promote Dream Funded, because the more you promote us, we can help you. Does that make sense? So I showed you a lot of tips and tactics that are available in Silicon Valley, and now you can use them anywhere today. But I am going to open it up for questions. Um, there's my contact information for the investors in the room and the many thousands watching online. Let's support the next generation of entrepreneurs. Let's co-invest together. So you know, join Dream Funded. And for the startups in the room, email get funded at Dream Funded. That'll be the start of your process. Those that want to contact me, contact me there. Now, I'm going to open it up for questions. Anyone have questions? Raise your hand. Yes, sir. What can I, what's your question? Oh, that was a good question, by the way. He asked me, did I invest in any Finland companies? Actually, you know I did. I invested in you, a rival crowdfunding site. So congratulations. We have an alliance investor, and uh, Dream Funded has created a bridge from Silicon Valley to Europe. So maybe because initially our goal was to figure out how to get some of the Silicon Valley money helping other parts of the world. Do you think that's a good idea? I think we're kind of spoiled. You know, in San Francisco, we have more funding than any other part of the world. But if we can direct them in the right places, maybe they can see other investment opportunities. Great question. I'm looking forward to you continually uh, being a leader in the space. How about anyone have a question here? We're almost out of time, ladies and gentlemen. One quick story. There was a guy that came up to me uh, six months ago, and he asked me if I could invest in his hair product. And I said, well, I'm sorry, I invested in software and internet companies. And then he kind of grabbed my arm, and it was kind of weird, but I looked at his eyes, and I was like, he's like, can you help me? Can you help me out to raise money? And I remembered myself when I was 19, I always wanted to figure out the secret on how to raise money, because those that know how to raise money, ladies and gentlemen, really kind of control the world. So I said, you know what, I'm going to give you a business card, and this is a business card I'm going to give you. Put Title, you know, put the PowerPoint on the headline. I've seen a good PowerPoint that's been used a lot in the venture firms in our angel group. More likely than not, if you use this PowerPoint, people are raising money based on this. So I gave him his card. He sent me an email. And he put PowerPoint on the headline. I sent him the PowerPoint. It was interesting about it, but 45 days later, he sent me an email. 
oh my God, I raised $600,000. Anyone here want a copy of that PowerPoint? Raise your hand. Wow, a lot of, lot of hands. Well, I made it easy for you guys. The moment you email Get Funded at Dream Funded, you'll get an autoresponder. You'll get that PowerPoint. That's my gift to you. I hope you use it and, and raise all the money for your dreams. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Manny Fernandez.